Welcome to Game. Hey guys, and welcome to yet another day of GT Live. It's weird for me to pause and not have anyone respond at all. I was hoping Chris might have jumped GT in. GT Live? There it is. That's eh, too late. You, you missed the boat, buddy. <laughs> it's all right. We, we could have practiced in advance. That was my bad. I apologize. You didn't get the memo. Jason would have been able to do it. Isn't that right, Jason? That's right. Yeah, I, yep. There you go. So, hey. Hi. BS. <laughs> what? P B did you say PS or BS? I mean, it could be a PSBS. Wow. You guys are salty over there. Mm. Chris is salty. Chris, Chris is salty. Yeah, the, the uh, salt. You know, like, me sprinkle my salt in a very ineffectual way. Look at me showing off my fingers. Right? <laughs> Come on. Oh, the fancy people with their little grindy finger salt. No, thank you. I am a shaker man. True and true, through and through. <laughs> Shaker man, through and through. Hey, uh, so you might have noticed based on the title and thumbnail of today's stream that we are back to stories untold, right? The title and thumbnail reflect that? Yes. Good, because I know it was kind of a last minute change. Well, it doesn't uh, say we're back. It, it says something about being out in the cold. You're all blue in the thumbnail. You look great. Blue really suits you. You could be the new genie. Uh, excuse me, Will Smith already has the genie roll covered, Chris. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm out in the cold and blue, huh? So are we, are we getting chilly in, this, in these next two episodes? Yeah, I think we are. I oh, think that's the exciting. Next episode is so exciting. yesterday I frustrated countless numbers of you watching at home during my playthrough of Stories Untold because I like to push games to their limits and see what little Easter eggs or fun things I can do. Um, but people got upset about that. So I'm sorry if, if watching me play the game was frustrating. First and foremost, I was not aware that look around was something that you should type in when you're playing a text-based game. I thought that, you know, when it gave you a general lay of the land in a description box to begin with, that that was all the looking that you needed, that it was providing you the information that was pertinent. So little did I suspect that, you know, you need to doubly look around in order to make sure that you have a true lay of the land. Uh, <laughs> silly me. Um, but also, uh, I, I, I was reading the comments off of yesterday's live stream and I saw a lot of people get mad that I was, you know, doing things like trying to eat the keys or not necessarily go down the obviously prescribed path that the game was leading me down. The thing is, and, and this, this is just a, a true fact of the matter, is, I don't know, I, I like pushing against the limitations of games because sometimes you're surprised by what you find, right? Like sometimes you find Easter eggs, sometimes you find different theory fodder, uh, you know, and, and I could, like looking back at yesterday's stream, like I could have burned through, like especially that first part, the house abandoned before someone in the chat's like, just type, look around. Uh, I, I could have burned through that in, in, you know, like a solid point in time. It's just, I don't know. For me, it's, it's more fun to see where the limitation, especially as I'm getting familiar with the game, just to see what you can and can't do in that world, right? Like, I think one of the most beautiful things about gaming, even, even these old text-based games, like, I don't know much about them because I didn't play a lot of them back in the day. Uh, they were before my time. But even back then, like, when you do, like, a Dungeons & Dragons sort of thing or whatever, you, a lot of options tend to be open to you. And sometimes you're surprised by what can happen if you do something that's outside of the box or isn't necessarily the most obvious choice every time. Uh, and so, I don't know. So I, I'm sorry if I frustrated anyone yesterday on the live stream. That was not my intent. Uh, if anything, I was being purposely dumb to be funny with things like eat the keys and eat the note. I thought that was just funny. Uh, and then when it came to like actually me struggling to solve the problems, a lot of times it was just me trying to see if there was anything other like interesting things I could do. You present me with a kitchen, I would assume that maybe I can find a knife in that kitchen or a refrigerator or something and maybe there'll be something exciting in there. Uh, I was wrong and we wasted a lot of time getting just like negative feedback loops. So I learned my lesson, but still, what, what harm is there in trying? So anyway, that is my lampshading, or not even a lampshade, because if I was lampshading, I would have said that before yesterday's stream, but I didn't know what I was getting myself into, so there you go. Uh, but that is kind of my follow-up from yesterday, and today, you know what? I had such a good time yesterday playing this game, and I'm really intrigued at where it's going. 
uh, that I wanted to finish it today. So today we are finishing up, hopefully, episodes three and four of Stories Untold. Uh, when last we left off yesterday, we had a spooky house uh, where some murder had been done, some carcasses on a table. Uh, then we moved on to a lab where some alien creature was taking over uh, me as a person, as a player, and the hive mind was kind of controlling all the aliens around. So today we see how all the stories connect. Like the box says, four stories, one nightmare. So what that nightmare actually is, we're about to find out today. There are two ways that you can get frustrated at me during today's live stream. Give me the advice that I'm looking for. One is on Twitter, hashtag GT Live, where there is a cassette tape. Very good, actually. And it even says, wow, good attention to detail here, guys. It even says chapter three and four Ooh, la, in the upper la. right corner there, or upper left corner there. That's great. Good job, man. No Thank expense you. was spared on today's live stream, <laughs> friends. Um, so there's Twitter, and I think now we even have a way to showcase, per me harassing Chris for long enough. Do we have a way to showcase something on Twitter? We do, but <laughs> don't look at because Chris is handling stuff over here. <laughs> oh, that's the bottom half of today's live stream, ladies there and gentlemen. Oh, there you go. Look, wow, I haven't seen a, a tweet on the live stream. I mean, I've seen them on Stephanie's computer, but I haven't seen like them physically on screen in a long time. There they are. Jordan says, I started the year thinking it was the year of Amy, which was promising at first, but it looks like 2019 year is the year of the lag. And don't worry, everyone, we got the lag fixed. Mainly Matt, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, do we have lag again? Yeah, our internet just really doesn't like us. I mean, we don't currently have lag, but we had it about that hurts two me. minutes ago. That, that hurts my soul, Chris. <laughs> So they yes. lagged all through that apology. I, I, I pour out my heart in apology and explanation and nothing, huh? Yeah, TLDR, Matt uh, gave a really heartfelt apology for, um, for sometimes disobeying untold stories yesterday. Wow. We were Man. all touched here. There were tears. Yeah, there were tears. <laughs> the tears were shed. We had a big hug session. It was beautiful. It was a thing of beauty. And then the lag ruined it. Um, by the way, again, say, hey, since I'm talking about things that we should probably talk about, uh, or like me making apologies for like things on the live stream, one of the things that's been bothering us this year is the lag, and I don't know what it is about 2019 in particular that's made it so bad. Um, we've tried over and over again to get the internet company to like give us the appropriate bandwidth that we were promised when that we pay for every month. Um, we don't know what the issue is, and we don't really know how many other, like, because the internet's a weird thing, right? You only have, like, one service provider per area, and even if you max out their bandwidth, like, or even if you, like, max out what you're paying for, like, they, which we have, the only, the only thing that we can get better is if we, and they've told us this, they're like, oh, you can pay for us to lay fiber optic cables in your part of the city. It's like, that's, terrible. I would not do that. Uh, that is not something that I single-handedly should be responsible for. Sorry. Um, so anyway, that's the problem. I'm sorry about that. We've been trying to figure out ways around it, possible solutions. I know that's frustrating. It frustrates all of us every time it happens, too. Um, just disappointing. I don't know. Uh, what else, Chris? Anything else that I need to like talk about, apologize for, acknowledge? lay credit to, etc. before we hop into Stories Untold? No, you covered the chat and Twitter. We even threw Twitter on screen. Man, your face is go. still back there. It still is, smiling just like I am At now. some point, since you're constantly off screen, but yet your presence is still on screen, it would be great if we could figure out a way to get like, you know, a SpongeBob SquarePants <laughs> style like talking mouth up there. So every time you talk, your little picture <laughs> back there has like a creepy talking mouth. Just a very, just like creepy Tim Burton uh -huh. background voice. Are you ready, kids? <laughs> Great. Awesome. Be like, whoa, hey, Chris. That's not weird and creepy at all. Chris Paul, live, live strong in our hearts. Okay, episode three, station process. Um, let's see where our, sh let's tell this story and see what unfolds. Start. Doo, doo, doo. Look around. Go to an open commands are your friends. Oh, 
See, that, I, I needed that. <laughs> You're two chapters too late, game. Sorry. Miss, missed that memo, didn't I? <laughs> Look around, go to, and open. See, open. It's a new one. Open door. I don't know. You used open a fair number of times yesterday. Right, I figured out open. I'm, I'm still disappointed that eat is not one of the, like, popular commands that we can use. Grab, knife, and stab. I was real. I had high hopes for grab, knife, and stab. <laughs> run away. High hopes for run away. Cower in fear. Definitely looking for a good, solid usage of cower in fear. That didn't happen. All right, so y yesterday we played a game that was really spooky. Then we did Richard, experiments. Read me, read me. Now we're moving on. Give me a sign, man. This storm is getting pretty wild. Seems like, uh, oh, we're in Greenland? Okay, so cold. Oh, this is me getting cold. Per the thumbnail, I get it. Come on, three, log in. Quit fucking around. Okay. I will not be effing around anymore. I will log in. I'm assuming the login code is what is posted on the monitor there, which is far away from me, so, and it's very thin, so it's what, 03031968? Is that name? Yeah! Who passed their eye exam today? There well done. Is. Finally, what took you? Is the microphone still broken in station three? Yes. Oh, that is a yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should be able to hear you though. Can see activity registering, so your voice is definitely going through. Yes, I am okay. here. We can chat later, three. Yeah. Probably not. Serious. Some horrific fate uh, will probably call befall central. me. There's a situation and we have to fire up signal monitoring and relay systems right away. What kind of situation? I don't know. I'm assuming it's got something to do with this storm. Or it's aliens. It's, it's big to want to involve us. Probably aliens. Shit. Okay, what do we do then? <sighs> well, my fucking cabin power Jeez. is holding up in this weather. Yeah. Right, the, we've got little sailors. Two, you need to feed the frequency information through to the backup terminal in station three. And three, you just need to tune, decode, and process. Just refer to the handbook on the microfilm. It'll walk you through it. I've never done any of this stuff, so I'm not going to be much help, I'm afraid. Great. It's simple, honestly. You could do this in your sleep. Thanks a lot. Okay. First one is due to appear in a minute or so. Have a quick read of that microfilm handbook. It should be on your left. I'm going to get suited up and restart the generator. Don't fuck it up. Thanks, RuPaul. Um, <laughs> right. Mm. The first two episodes of this were very clean and family friendly, and now they all really of a sudden, were. like, here I am in the, the Greenlandish scientific research outpost, but it really sounds like I'm dealing with a bunch okay, of sailors. Up. Oh, shoot. Do whatever it is you're supposed to do. I was supposed to read a microfilm. I did not do that thing. <laughs> Sorry, I was, I was commenting on. I was commenting on everyone's foul language. It's not my fault. Okay. Uh, let's see. Input broadcast authorization key. Okay, so transmission broadcast frequency. Uh, FM. So I'm assuming we need to turn this on. I'm assuming we need to switch it to FM. 1930. Is it this wheel? There we go. 1930. And I'm assuming they're going to give me a key to input. I didn't read the microfilm. Maybe that'll come and bite me in the butt later. Just like whatever alien species we're fighting against here will also come and bite me in the butt at some point. Here we go. Nope. Almost. Ah! No! 13, 0, 14, 14, 9, 3. 13, 0, 14, 14, 9, 3. I'm assuming that this is it? Yeah! Okay. 13, 0. Code word reference, Nine, abacus. Three. Hmm. 13, zero, Th this might be the point 14, where I need to read that microfilm. <laughs> 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 this, this may be, uh, let's see. <laughs> she said the microfilm was over on the left. Zero, 14, Here we go, okay. Nine, three. Go microfiche. Ooh. 13, wow! 
Wow! Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> I had to use microfilm once for a research paper in my local library. It was very cool. Um, okay, forward. Nope, nope, nope. Stop. There, there. Okay. There's my handbook. There's the forward. I'd love to... Contents. Great. Sigma. Abacus. Hey, okay, Abacus. This is what I need. Okay. Now to figure out how to zoom in. It has been years since I've had to do this. Okay. Nope, that's, that's just spinning me around. You spin me right round, Abacus. Right round. Okay, here, stop. That's, okay, that's contrast. That's, zoom, zoom in. Activate the zoom. Hmm. Maybe it's this one, yes, there it is. Yeah, look at us figuring out old technology. <laughs> have the Fine Brothers, I know the Fine Brothers have their like, young kids react to Old technology. Is this, uh, have they gotten them to react to like microfilm? Cause that would be a good one. Okay, on receipt of callback code, we did, okay. Conversion operators must input the following command lines into the terminal and execute. Oh jeez, okay. Oh no, where'd my pen and paper go? Hold <laughs> on, shoot, there's, there's a lot more to this, okay. System.exe, okay, system.exe, minus D, minus, is that me? That looks like me. What do you think, E? Again, a lot of, a lot of test in my eyesight here today. Yeah, this is a funny challenge to deal with. Yeah, that's minus E. Okay, enter. All AI locate, all locate? Probably AI locate because all locate. It looks like two L's. Doesn't it? Oh, allocate. Allocate! There it right. is. Allocate 202 minus A. Literacy. Right? <laughs> Being able to read things. Output log. False. Okay. All right. Input terminal code, hitting enter at the end of each line. Execute to run the program. Okay. Here we go. Here it is. We've got this. This is mildly obnoxious to listen to, so I'm going to turn that off. I should have done that a lot earlier. System.exe. Uh, what is it? Minus D. Minus E. Great. Line 2 is allocate. Uh, 202 minus A, it was. Right? 202 minus A. Yep, okay. And line 3, output. Output log is false. That should be it. Ooh, Ray, at Reyes Claudia 250 on Twitter says, I love using microfilm. My library has it. Right, it's a really cool thing. Yeah, to use it as much as possible for research projects. Really? I, I just didn't come across that many opportunities to use it. Cause it's usually to like research old newspapers and stuff. There oh, is the whole point just to catalog in like mass amounts because it's tiny? Yeah. Okay, my light here just turned green and the signal stopped. So I think you did it right. Huzzah! Sorry it took so long. Next one coming up in 30 seconds apparently. Don't leave them hanging too long. I don't know what they're for. But I know we have to make them top priority or I'll get shit. <laughs> of course, don't worry, we'll keep on top of it. Okay, Great. there it is. Creepy sounding things, aren't they? Okay, here we go. USB 3500. Coming to you live from WKYC 3500. Playing all <laughs> the hits from the 80s, 90s, and today. Oh man. Do you, what do you think they say now? Do you think they say 90s aughts in today? <laughs> I hope they don't say aughts. Aughts is terrible. I, I always hated that people called like the, the 2000s the aughts. Because that's just a, I don't know, it's a weird word. 26, 14, 0, 1, 2. There we go. 
Chevron. Oh man. Everyone's favorite. Oh, everyone's favorite overpriced guest station. Woo. Um. Right, but it, it like. Playing the greatest hits from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, aughts, 10s, and today. <laughs> like, wow, that is that is a robust song catalog you guys got there. <laughs> Do you want to listen to the Andrews Sisters and then Cardi B? <laughs> Boy, do we have the mix for you. <laughs> Coming up next on our block is some Motown, the greatest hits of Motown, followed by Britney Spears' Toxic. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned through the break. Uh, let's see. Eagle, Sigma, Abacus, Portfolio, Kansas, Mask, Ingenue, Canvas, that's whatever it's mon landscape, Money, Orange, Centaur, Home. That's not it. Sacrifice. Come on, Chevron. There it is. Show me Chevron. micro it up. There we go. Okay, we got... Ooh, we're, oh, man. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, ref int. Capital R-E-F dot initial. Okay, reference initial... Is that minus W and minus Z? Procedure begin, proc, begin, enter, get, get integer, get into my belly, integer, <laughs> get into my belly, where X equals the second, Y equals the fifth, and six, okay, so this is gonna be two, five, six from the broadcast code. Okay, so the broadcast code was that 3,500, I believe, something like that. So here, let's hop on back. So that's second, fifth, and sixth, and then I got end bracket. Okay, and that is. Two. Okay. So the broadcast code there then is, it's gonna be zero is the second number, one, two, three, four, five is four, and six, one, two, three, four, five, six is also zero, four, zero, I believe, that should be it? Okay, let's try it. So this is ref init minus w minus z, what's it minus w minus z? Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, minus w minus z, okay. Uh, oh, I gotta hit enter. Boop. There we go. Uh, proc. Begin. Oh man, this is teaching basic coding for people who can just follow instructions. <laughs> uh, I don't really understand. I don't remember a lot from my coding class. Uh, I remember a, a, a decent amount, but it was like, the, that's the thing. I learned how to program in Java uh, some basic video games, and it was a lot of fun, but um, if you were to ask me to do it now, it'd be tough. Like, I can read it and kind of understand, like, the logical loops that it's going through, but let's see if this worked. No! Okay. I failed. Okay, can I, can I start that again? Should be ref, oh, it's, it's all one, that's what it is. I did a space. Whoops. Ref dot in it. There it is. I did the space there, I think is my problem. Minus C. There it is. Oh, God. Enter, enter, enter. No! Wait, okay. Get. Get int. Get int. I got, I got int. And then... Dynamic variables. Okay, so it might just be... I, I might not need the brackets is actually what it might be. Whoops. Nope. Nope. Go back to this one. Go back to that one. There it is. Get. Let's try this. Do I need the brackets? Nope. Shoot, maybe I do need the brackets. Get int variables. On receipt of callback code, conversion, okay, must input the following command lines into the terminal, substituting any dynamic variables. Okay. X is the second. Y is the fifth. And Z is the sixth number from the broadcast code. 
and the broadcast code fourteen zero is this one, right? Two. Yeah, what else would it be? Six. Six. Oh. Oh, 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 uh, 20. Six. 20. Six. 4. 14. 0. 1. That's what it is. Two. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, okay. So I was just doing the digits when it actually should be. The second one is 6. The fifth one, one, two, three, four, five, is one, and then two. Um, that was my problem, is I was looking at them as all one string of units, so I was doing two, zero, six, one, as opposed to 20, six, 14, zero, one, two. I think that's my difference. Uh, I'm not sure if I need the brackets, but let's say no for now. There it is. Yeah, see? Making progress. Woo. Logic. Getting the hang of it, huh? Yeah, getting the hang. Yeah. Figuring out the nuances. Um, one. What does GCS mean? GCS. Good, cool flaw. Yeah, now this next one has come through with an additional note. GCS three equals E one V one M one. I've not seen it before. Check the microfilm. Might be something in there about it. Listen. Let me know when you're done with that one. I haven't heard back from the transport team, and I'm starting to worry. Sure thing. Does no one worry about me? Okay, here it is. Whoa. Okay, that's different. Flashing red screen. Yeah, quite the warning sign. Shit. Something's going on. The last two must have just been testing the system. Tune it as normal, and I'll see what I can find out once I get these goddamn lights on. Guys, we're letting the enemy in. Don't believe it. Don't believe it for a second. Ooh. What? We're turning this dial up to 11. 11,000 kilohertz, that is. You know you're serious. Oh, well, speaking of all that cold, Bonnie the Theorist, at Bonnie the, at Bonnie the Theor One, says she's sick, but I shall watch. So, I appreciate thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you watching. Hopefully, we don't make you sicker. There we go. Oh, and Jacob Tidwell, uh, consider yourself shouted out. Oh, man. Oh, man, we're, we're doing some Morse code, aren't we? Check our microfiche. And what do they say was the GCS? Okay, whoop. No, 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 no. No! <laughs> Woo! You spin my fish round, baby. Fish round like a record, baby. Fish round, round, round. My micro fish is spinning right round. Micro fish is spinning right. Oh, go, go. Okay, there we go. Sibling. Morse code. Woo! This is going to be important. Okay. Ah, poop. I only ever see microfilm in, like, crime-solving movies. Right. So this just makes me think we're going to, you know, Solve discover the who the killer is. Okay, so this... <coughs> Excuse me, who? So this is the phonetic alphabet, okay. So do I need... So I really need to get into the, sorry, what else is back here? Okay, and that's the end of it all? That seems like it's the end. Okay, so that's the end of it, which means that I need to go back to this guy. And so this is gonna give us our numerical code now.
Okay, here we go. Here we go, so it's restarting. So that's five. Five. No, oh, those are dots. Oh, geez, okay, so... God, Morse code is so hard. <laughs> like, I'm so impressed that people suffice with Morse code for as long as they did. So that's zero. Okay, it's zero, zero, 009. Zero. Da 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 is seven. Zero nine seven. Da 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 da. Okay, here we go. Zero. Nine. Six. Okay. Okay. Shoot. Okay. <laughs> Darn it. Zero. Nine. Seven. Seven. Five. It ends with five. Nine. Seven. Seven. So. Okay. Six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it ends with five. So we're missing whatever the one, two, three, four, fifth one is, and I think it's three, maybe? Da 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 da. Da da da. Shoot. Da 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 da. <laughs> it seems. I think it's three, five. Zero, nine, seven, seven, three, five. Da 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 da. Fast, fast, fast. I think it is because it ends with too slow and then it ends with five basics okay we're gonna go with that fingers crossed that we got it here we go zero nine seven seven three five let's try that no shoot Ugh. oh no Do you want help from the chat? Da 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 Maybe it's four? Hold up. I'm gonna try this again. Shoot. No. Two? It's... Is it two? Da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. It's three, is it? So it's not zero nine seven seven three five? Zero nine seven seven... One, two, three, four, five. Oh wait, no, 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 no! It's, it ends with zero. I, I'm, I'm still thinking that's what it is. And it's three. Yeah, there it is. Whoo! Okay, that was. Yeah, that's tough, man. I think I would really be in trouble if the only way I could communicate with people was Morse code. Here's my thing: if I'm doing Morse code, and, and granted, like. You know, we're from a very different era where Morse code is is a very different use case than what it used to be, where now it's just like a gimmick in games. Like, the only time we've really had to use it is like, keep talking and nobody explodes in here. But it's one of those things where, to me, if I'm doing Morse code, I would make sure that the dots and dashes are just like, more pronounced. 
<laughs> like maybe <laughs> if you're used to hearing it a bunch and you're like, oh yeah, I totally understand how this is slightly longer than the other one. But hearing that, I'm, I'm having to think through like, is that a short or a long? It's really hard. Like I would do like, duh, I would do like dash, dot, 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 dash, <laughs> dot, dot, <laughs> dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot, dot. Like <laughs> slow it down for the layman in the room, shall we? I get it. I get it. It's not. It's not the language that I'm comfortable with. But man, it, it takes a lot of practice. That's hard. Yeah, and it's painfully annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying it took me too long to solve that one, Chris? No. Kansas. Let's look for Kansas, <laughs> shall we? I think you're lying. All right. So now uh -oh. we're gonna look for. We're not uh, in that's Kansas the anymore. This is Appendix D. We're gonna find it. Chevron Drive, Sacrifice, Jennifer, Home, Centaur. That's oh. Canvas, not to be confused with Kansas. Ingenue Mass. Kansas, woo! Okay. You spin my microfiche round, right round, like a microfiche, right round, round, round. Okay. Okay, here we go. Variables. We got some more variables in this one. Uh, up, up, up. Okay. Point. <laughs> Run out of space on my one. New page. <laughs> uh, growing up, uh, my dad had an NES, and he would just write out enormous maps of the games that uh, that he would play. Like, I mean, he was playing the original Legend of Zelda, which has the most complicated... Like, it's, it's pretty darn complicated. Um, and he would just draw out on graph paper just giant maps of stuff. And, and I still have them to this day. Uh, all his original maps where he grew because you know you'd, there were player guides kind of there wasn't anything online and so what is that 4G 4G is that a G or a 0 I think that might be actually a 0 I'm going to say that's either a G or a 0 um, and then execute um, and so I've kept those because I think it's just really cool to see that variable replacement okay And it's just nice to have kind of that, that thing that he grew up with. Where X equals the largest number from the original broadcast, Y equals the smallest number from the original broadcast. And by original broadcast, you're referring to what exactly? The first ever broadcast. Conversion Which operators must input the following command line. Good. When you say the original broadcast, Are you talking? What are you talking about in your game? That does not that does not bode well for us. The original, the original numbers. I didn't keep those. <laughs> Was I supposed to have kept those? Oh no! Uh, shoot! Wait a minute. Uh, I have the second one. That's not the original broadcast. Hmm. Is there a way to go back and revisit that original broadcast? That would be super helpful. It was FM. I remember it was on an FM channel. Shoot, was I supposed to have written it down somewhere? Oh, no. Yeah, are you allowed to just go back on that machine, or are we stuck there? That's a good question. You know, what was it? It was like 1250 or something like that, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? You know, do we do we have the power? Oh, are you pulling up? I see Twitter. What's Twitter say? You have something pulled up on Twitter. I know Twitter's showing. They might they might let us know. Will they? Tar says, "Oh hey, look at Twitter is back on the hashtag GT Live screen. Hey ma, ma, look, I'm on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> see, people are excited. I told you, people would be excited to, to see themselves back on the stream. Man, it's been too long." Okay, I'm just going to start typing these in. Point. Package. It's cute. Yep, don't know what the number is, though. That's where our problem here is. 
it was really low. 12 something, if I remember right. Hopefully. Doing our little rewind. Play. Pray for us. Pray for Harambe. Chris. What, so, you're talking which of which original broadcast? That's my question. I, we're you we're know, talking about the very first thing we did, right? I would assume that that's original broadcast, because when we did. All right. Because when we did Chevron, because Chevron was like, oh, put in the variables that are from the activation code or whatever, Kansas. Here, let me look. Where was where was Chevron? Mask, canvas, whiskey, landscape, orange. So that was Abacus. Was the first one we did? Abacus was first. Okay. But I'm trying to see how Chevron, because Chevron also had variables, but the Chevron variables were from the okay, so from the broadcast code. So this one says from the broadcast code. And so Kansas here says from the original broadcast. So that to me is saying from the first broadcast code that we've received, right? The original, that would be the original broadcast. Yeah. That's what, that's the numbers that we need to put in, right? I feel like that makes sense. Right. And wouldn't that be, that wouldn't be Chevron, right? That would be. The no, Abacus. that would be from Abacus. Okay. But Abacus, we didn't have, that's the only one I haven't written down because it just said it right there. <laughs> like I was able to listen and put it in. Um, the problem is I wish, and I don't remember what the FM code was. I think it was 1930. Was it 1930? Shoot. Do you think or did Twitter tell you? I'm, I'm looking at the rewind version the does not seem to be it well it was unless <laughs> unless it's canceled it shoot oh no how do you rewind rewind for me game game i need that code you didn't tell me to write down ever now i'm just stuck now i'm just done it's over it's done oh, the aliens man. have taken over the hive mind has won we have lost it is game set and match here, I'm G-chatting Amy to ask what the original code is. Yeah, well, if we could find out what that original code, that'd be super helpful because from the original broadcast, yeah, because I don't know. And this is, sorry, we need the largest number from the original broadcast and the smallest number from the original broadcast. Smallest number might have been a zero. There might have been a zero in there. I don't know. What's Abacus? I wonder if I go to Abacus, if it says anything. This is small, this is large. So I do, I mean, I, I do like that about this game in general, is that this is a game that's inspired by the 80s. Like, that's cool. And so doing stuff like having to write down things like my dad did when he was playing video games in the 80s is cool. Um, on receipt of the callback code, which can, okay. Hitting enter, yeah, all right. Yeah, this is not, it would have been useful if Abacus here had like kind of refreshed me on what those were and I could have had like something to, to go back to. But that is unfortunately not the case. Portfolio. Yeah, we're kind of caught here. Any luck, friends? Especially uh, if this. Oh, the chat is flying by. I believe in you, Chris. Here you we go. People are saying 13014493. Four, that sounds right. Nine. Three, that sounds right. 13, so it was fourteen and zero. Okay, so zero fourteen. That makes 14. sense because I remember there was fourteen twice. So yeah. this would be zero then. This would be point dot package 
Y.X. Uh, that's the smallest. Y is the largest, I believe. 14? Or is it the other way around? Shoot, I forgot. Let me double check. Oh, it's largest and smallest. Okay, so this is actually the other way around. So this one should be 14. This one should be 0. Largest number, smallest number. Yep, okay. And then this should be capital Sal minus A minus 40? I think. Well, that's wrong. Okay, point dot package dot ex. So let's just make sure that that's all right. Point dot package. Oh, they're saying nine, not fourteen. So it's thirteen, one. Wait, what? Thirteen zero fourteen fourteen nine three is what I had from earlier. What you said. Thirteen. 0, 14, 14, 9, 3. And yeah. X is largest number. So that... So if it's... So you're saying it's 9? Hmm. I mean... 9 and 0 says Forgotten Mutants 2009. Okay. So, I mean, that's right. It is 9 and 0. I do... Okay. So again... I, I try to be fair and like equal opportunity games, and, and this is fine. But when it says from the original broad, so I think I know what it's referring to, right? It's saying the activation code. It's saying what we just put in using the Morse code, which was 097730, right? So the lo lo smallest number would be zero. The largest number would be nine. So that makes sense. But for them to say from the original broadcast, when it, whereas before, during the last section, they said from the broadcast, from the broadcast code, which we had just gotten, that terminology is unclear, which I would say, hey, if we can make that, you know, if I were to, like, redo this game or, like, offer suggestions to just make it more clear, I think keeping that language consistent, because you're asking me from the code that you just got, I think that's... There we go. Yeah, that's the problem. Okay, one, we're done. So that's Nothing just happened, friendly good. advice. What did you want? Unsolicited. <laughs> but as a player, that's where my confusion is from. Because that whole time we could have avoided it because I had it written down in front of me the entire time. But I've had nothing. No responses either. Shit. The storm? I hope not. Three, can you monitor a range for me? They use an emergency signal somewhere between eight, eight and a half thousand range. Probably okay. not. See if you can track it down. For oh, them. no. That's our supply for the next six months. If they turn back, what do we do? We can reschedule. I'm more worried that they didn't turn back. Otherwise, we'll be having a drink by now. The boat was called 20F. God, yeah. Okay. Three. Eight, eight and a half thousand FM somewhere. See if you can pick up a distress signal or something. Oh, no. <laughs> That's... Terrible. <laughs> Shoot. Eight to eight and a half thousand. All right. <laughs> well, then. Thanks for narrowing it down for me, friends. Let's start with eight. Okay, here we go. Do, do, do. Is it fair to have been confused by that? I'm, I wasn't. I don't think I was overthinking it. I was reading the text that was on screen, right? It was. It was weirdly put together, right? Okay. I'm one. I hope we like hear distressed aliens. Yeah. Well, distressed aliens. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, wait. FM. Yeah, I know. It takes a long time to search 8,000 different, like, kilohertz, okay? Jeez. What do you expect me to do? Also, you're useless. You're like, I've never done any of this stuff before, so I can't be of any help. Yeah, great. It's like a group project. All you lazy bums loading up all your work on me. The guy stuck in Greenland in the middle of a blizzard that's going to get eaten by aliens.
You're welcome. Am, is anyone going to thank me? No. They're not going to thank me. Just like a group project. <laughs> here's, here's numbers one and two over here being like, we're just going to kick back and relax. Figure out the original broadcast using your microfiche. Great. Just scan 8,000 different wavelengths for that distress code, buddy. I mean, I could go... Eight eight yeah! Oh, come on. Get out of here! Can I can I hang up on you? I hope you starve in the <laughs> blizzard, woman. Jeez. I hope that the freezing cold aliens find you in your little hut with your useless self sitting back waiting for other people to do the work for you. She's gonna come back on again here in a second. I'm gonna gonna hang up on her. I just, even if I succeed, I'm not gonna share any of my results with her. She doesn't deserve them. Three. Eight to eight and a half thousand. Great. Thanks. Thanks a lot. We're almost halfway, friends. Get excited. Hype! Four, th four thousand hertz hype! <laughs> oh, oh. I'm hearing suspicious. Three. Yeah! Eight and a half thousand FM. Do it. You do it. Guess what? You've never done any of this before, I can't do it? Guess what? It's it's called tuning on effing radio. You, you, you find a dial and you spin it slowly up. It's not rocket science here. Jeez. Three, do it. Do you think people are bossier if they don't know your name and they know you as a voice and a number? Probably. I mean, it's kind of like the internet, right? People are meaner online because their identities aren't attached to things, right? That's true. And, yeah, it's easier to be mean to, like, a wall of text. Yeah, anonymity buys you a lot of free reign. Here's, here's the... Here's the cruelest irony of all. When we miss this, I have to. Do yeah, shut up! I'm listening to the radio. I'm listening for a distress call. Maybe I would be able to do it if you didn't keep interrupting me and making me upset with your like impertinence and impatience. That's right, I said impertinence. Very nice. Somebody is ready for the SATs. Right? Those SAT word flash words <laughs> coming into play. I've missed it, haven't I? This is going to suck. It should be at the beginning. Whenever you're going to make someone do a tedious thing, just, you know, if we're using the pretense of it could be between this huge span of numbers, let's put it in the front half. Right? Although I should have been coming from 10,000. So maybe that's why. What you shouldn't do, though, is have, like, the game constantly, like, berating you for being slow and diligent. Like, that's not making me feel good about myself right now. Oh my gosh, where is this thing? Ah, we were hoping to beat Stories Untold today, but, man, alive. Do you want to know? So the chat knows the number. Do they? Do you want to know the number? You're almost there. To the number? Yeah. Wait. I heard it a second ago. There. Yeah, I hear it. It's, it. I'm very close, okay? Be patient, woman. Is this, is this not it? I'd, I'd go a little higher. Maybe roughly 150 points higher. We are moving out. What the hell is going on? 
Come on. I mean, how clear do you need it, guy? Like, I, I can hear it. Apparently, this is not clear enough for them yet. So that's cool. I'm glad I really started at eight. That was <laughs> that was really nice. Glad we got there. Welcome. Three. Yeah, good. Mm. Do it. I, I, yeah, yeah. Nine and now it's gone. Now it's over. Uh. No, was I right? What? Keep going up. More? So... Because I've lost it. Because here's the thing, again, like, if I'm getting close... Radios work, it gets more clear as you get closer to it. And I, I was hearing it pretty clear without a lot of static, <laughs> and now it's gone. So this would tell me, wow, you have gone too far. So yeah, I would scale sorry. it back. Sorry, the chat is being really funny, and I found out about this a little bit ago, but I thought it was funny, so I didn't say anything. She's not saying between 8 and 8,000. She's saying between 8,000 and 8,500. Oh, are you effing kidding me? <laughs> Why? Why would they... No! <laughs> Why would they say it explicitly? Between eight and eighty-five hundred. Why would you assume that eight is eight thousand? Eight to eight and a half thousand. Eight to eight and a half thousand. It says eight, not eight thousand. No, I'm there. I <laughs> it says eight, literally the number eight on a dial that tiles all the way down to zero. <laughs> oh, this game hates me. No wonder the internet hates watching me play this game. Guess what, internet? I don't blame you at this point. Like, I would be frustrated too if I knew the answers and had watched the other 15 YouTubers who played this play it and edit out whatever mistakes they made or... An emergency broadcast received from Madrid confirms the epidemic has traveled across the Atlantic. They have been sighted, connecting to central population centers and beginning what is being described as a removal. It's not oh. yet known if the anomaly is still I mean, moving with weather systems. I love the fact that I came across yet another, like, signal that <laughs> apparently does not merit attention in any way. An emergency board Yeah, I get it! Listen, I got, here it is! I found it! How much clearer do you need this game? Okay, we're moving away. This sounds pretty good. Is there like a button you have to hit to be like, we found it? Right? Like, uh... No, I... Is there? I don't think there is. Right? Usually there's like an input somewhere. I think it's landing on whatever the right number is, right? I mean, yeah, I, I thought so, but it, this feels so right. Anyway. Is this the right number? It feels people are saying it's eight to fifty. Are you kidding me? All these other things are just fun. Great. Eight to eight and a half thousand FM. Eight to fifty. Does anyone read? This is Clivus twenty F. Do you read me? Oh my God, that bad. God. This is a distress signal from Supply Vessel two zero F. Please respond. Okay. Is anyone there? Three, are you there? I don't have enough supplies to last whatever this is out. I need a stiff drink of water. We have some on board, but it's not enough. We try to turn back, but the storm or them have messed with our GPS and sent us straight into the ice. What on earth is he talking about? We're hold up. Oh, now you're eager to participate. Screw you. I hate everyone. Everyone's gone there now. I don't care. I thought us being so remote would give us time, maybe, but I can see it coming. Be ready, all of you. It's 20 f out. One, are you there? Are you hearing this? Lock your door, too. Three, do the same. No one cares. What do you mean? Did you hear the report? I just got a call from Station B at the coast. Something is happening. I don't know what, but they said we had to lock up and stay in our cabins. Then it went dead. What are you talking about? Go do it! Just do it. They're here. Go do it! Ugh. Who are they? 
I hope they eat you. Shit, one, there's another GCS signal no. coming in. Do we, do we process it still? No, we don't. We yeah. don't. As long as the GCS number is going up, we're helping a lot of people. We're not. It was three last time. It's six this time. What does it mean? That's good. That's good. Just process the signals. That's yeah, it. process the signals, one and two. Do it yourself. <laughs> Figure it out. I've done my part here. I, I, I haven't even taken the time to lock my damn door. How about I get up and lock my door? Self-preservation instinct. How about that? Eh. Uh, if overrated. all of New York is gone, I don't think a locked door is really going to help Locked you. door in Greenland. That is true. <laughs> right? Like, who's, uh, if aliens come and find me out here. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Light. What? Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. What's the first one? Light. Light? Zulu. Shoot. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. I know this is the end of the thing. Echo. They might all relate to numbers anyway. Light? Light? Zulu. I forget what uh I don't I don't have my like call Bravo. perfectly. Here we go. Tango Mike Zulu Sierra Hotel Bravo Echo India Hotel Gull Foxtrot Echo Delta Charlie Yeah Mike Zulu Sierra Zulu Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Kilo. Lima. Mike. 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 Zulu. That's. Sierra. That's a. It's Hotel. not the first way I would assume Bravo. Mike is pronounced, but there we go. Echo. No! God! Mike. Mike. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Is there someone else here? Mike. Mike. Zulu. Great. Sierra. Yep. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Just when I thought I had it, I was apparently Mike. wrong. Mike. Zulu. Yep. Sierra. Sierra should be S. Hotel. H. Bravo. Echo. Okay, great. So now. Mike. Zulu. Nope, that's this. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Oh, this is gonna be the last challenge Mike. over there, isn't it? That's gonna be super Zulu. fun. Great. Sierra. It comes with a map. Hotel. Bravo. Oh my gosh, okay, Echo. here we go. Woo! Flip it. Nope, nope, nope. So, slow down! <laughs> slow down! <laughs> oh, this game. Oh, this game hates Lord. me so much. Okay, here we go. Frequency. Mike. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. What's my frequency? 6970 LSB. 6970 LSB. Okay. Sierra. Bravo. Echo. 6970, come on. Mike. Is that 6970? Zulu. Okay. Okay, holy cow. Okay, Mike Echo. is 15. Bravo. Echo. Mike. Shoot, let me write it down. Mike. Mike. Zulu. Zulu. Sierra. Sierra. Hotel. Hotel. Bravo. Bravo. Echo. Echo, that's the last one. Okay. So that's 15, because here's, here's 6970. Mike, 15. Zulu, Zulu is going to be 2. Hotel. Uh, Sierra is going to be 21. 21. Hotel. Sierra. 
the hotel. Oh, hotel. God, I gotta go over it. Bravo. Echo. 6970. D. H. G. H. 10. I'm assuming that's a 10. Hotel. B. Bravo. Yeah, is Shia LaBeouf clapping for me? Yeah, this is from at just a person 471. Matt, you're doing it. Thanks, guys. <laughs> we're getting, we're getting it. This is, this is hard, man. This is really intense. All right. So, 50, please let this work. 15, 2, 21, 10, 4, 7. Please, please. Oh, thank goodness. Holy, thank, praise, praise. <laughs> Oh, ju someone cue the jubilation uh, dance from Fortnite. Centaur! Right. <laughs> oh, but it's still not over. Here's the thing. If this, if this episode of, of Stories Untold ends with uh, numbers one and number two dying, I will, that, it's a victory. It's all worth it. Because <laughs> hearing her repeat over and over again, you're doing, like, do it. Do it. Just do it. Eight, it's, it's between eight and 8,500. <laughs> Just do it. Just do it. Bravo. Then, you know what? I, I'm excited for that day. Okay, here's Drive. I'm looking for Centaur, right? My. Oh, yes. Centaur. Sierra. Okay. Hotel. Let's do some more programming. Bravo. Please let there be no variables. Yes. Under state of the callback code, conversion operators must input the following command lines. My. Okay, and any dynamic variables. Good, there aren't any. Oh my gosh, thank goodness. M status. M dot status. Minus R. Command. Command. Dot stir. Minus Z. H. Gray. Capital W. Okay. My. Stop. <laughs> so over it. M dot. Whoops. Capital M. M. That's capital M, right? M dot status minus R. Oh, God. No, it's not tab. I'm so used to tabbing over. Okay. Status minus R. Command dot str minus Z. H dot grid dot capital W. Please work. Yes! Allocate those resources! Three, there's something. I don't know what I'm looking at. Cabling? Well, Lock your I can door. See something above three's cabin. One of the power lines down. One, are you there? If I die before her, <laughs> you know. I have to die listening. I have to die listening to her. Fuck. Oh. What the hell is that? Oh, I one's here too, thank goodness. One. What's going on? It's above me. Shit, it's above me. It's over station three too. I, I, might I recommend station two? Jesus one, what the fuck is out there? Uh, check out it's station fine. two. It's fine, you'll be fine. Nope, he's gone. Shit. Take station two. No, I don't care. Just take me. Just take me, please. V five M one. One, what the hell? It's flashing urgent. Oh, okay, fine. USB. Take take two. Sheesh. Oh look, it's between eight and eighty five hundred. It's eighty one fifty. Oh my gosh, is this it? That, that, that would be great. I'd love to just have it be this simple. One, eight, nine, six, yes! Four. Oh, that's delightful. Thank you for that, game. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you for your sacrifice. Okay, sacrifice. Here we go. Oh, come on! Guys, are any of you walking around in that store? That's crazy. You'll get yourself killed. No one is outside. You're seeing things, four. Oh, you're seeing things, four. 
Oh no, we have more people now. I was about to, to say, who's this new voice? Right, we got these new people. Get out of here. I've got enough problems with, <laughs> with one and two breathing down my neck. I'm going to receive this callback code. Convert okay, great. Variables. What are the numbers one, two, and three from the original? Oh, the original broadcast. Good thing we wrote that down. Good thing the original broadcast. <laughs> Wait, I didn't write it down. Why would I have... Three. Not the station three. This is station four. Do not go outside. Don't go out there. Stay inside. Lock up. Do not go out there. So let it be known that I didn't write it down. Just, I didn't write down X, or Y, or Z. Rot, actuate, Y, point. Oh, but that's okay in this case, I think. Z, okay. Guys, I'm shutting down station five and getting the fuck out of here. They took six. Station six is fucking Take, gone. take one and two. They just ripped it out of the ground. Authorization word from Appendix C. Oh, man, C. Authorization word, okay. Numbers four, five, and six from the original broadcast represent latitude. Represent a latitude. Oh, my God, okay. <laughs> so the original broadcast is... Okay, one, eight, zero. One, eight, nine, zero, four, five, okay. So one, two, and three represent longitude. This one represents latitude. There we go, okay. Now go to appendix C and find longitude and latitude and why they matter. Okay, great. Okay, so I need X and Y. So this is X, this is Y. Okay. So should that be 189045 and then just get to appendix C? Hold up. Okay. Woo boy! Hailbop in the chat says, man, this is so complicated. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's really complicated. I agree. This one's really hard. Uh, <laughs> the other two were pretty simple. Like, it makes me kind of regret making it seem like House Abandoned was so confusing. Because, like, House Abandoned was super easy. Uh, and it's just like, here's all the obvious answers. Uh, but now this is just like, what the heck? Okay. <laughs> Appendix C, code for generation. Damn it. Okay. So here's Appendix C. Oh, nice. I knew this was coming. <laughs> Start. Signal. Oh, my God. Signal modulation. It is LSB, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, no USB. It's USB, so we go this way. Broadcast frequency. It's between, it's between 8 and 8,500. <laughs> it's this one. Okay, process. Total, no, total of broadcast numbers is 6. Process total 6 is the, the answer there. 6. Total is greater than, th it is not. Great. Process total of broadcast. Oh, total of broadcast numbers. 9, 10, 18, 18, 22, 27. No, it is not. Total is greater than 30. It is not. So that's a no. Alexander. Okay. Please. Please let this work. Oh. <laughs> So I'm getting word that from the chat. Yep. That uh, at some point you should read the Jennifer log before this uh, episode ends. Oh, really? Apparently it connects to I assume Jennifer from House of. From Inn. the first one? No, that's a good. That's a good idea, actually. Uh, where are you? There you go. Sibling. That's interesting too, actually. Drive, sacrifice. Yeah, I feel like I'm. There's a lot of like secrets in these games. I received a callback code. Conversion upper. Open. Open Red X, so the Open Red X, the, the utility closet in House Abandoned had a Red X on it. Timer start, 
Random generator. Generator. Uh, so the generator needs to be on. Timer start, 12.05. So that's, is the timer the like clock in your room? Open red, to, to open the red X. Input terminal code, hitting enter at the, I wonder if I had typed this in, if it would like change things in the other ones. We might have to go back and test it at some point. Or can I do it with this one maybe? Maybe before I do this, Alexander, right, was my code? Yes. It was, okay. Here, I'm gonna try typing this in just to do it. That's rot, oh wait, no, this is. Where's Jennifer? Jennifer, come back to me, there we go. Jennifer, Jennifer, where are you? There we go. Jennifer, I want to type you in. See if you do anything fun, like an Easter egg. Again, Easter eggs, fun. <laughs> Open. Red minus X timer start uh, 1205 and rand underscore generator. I love that the aliens are taking their good old time to get to me. I do appreciate that. Their right. patience is appreciated. They're like, this person is going to get yelled at. It's right, this person's going to get harassed by people on the other end of the line. That, that's punishment enough, isn't it? <laughs> open red minus x. So that's open the minus, open the x. Timer. Is that underscore or minus? Under, timer start is underscore. At 12.05. And it's rend, random generator on yeah Maybe I wonder if there's just for a playthrough if it's just game. a yeah I wonder if it's okay so this is rot x 189 this is actuate accentuate the positive hopefully one and two are dead <laughs> point one <laughs> Alex oh it's all caps Alexander there we go please aliens be my friend here we go Three. oh she's still Ten. here uh, the last signal hasn't sent my terminal is going crazy demanding a response I think the wind has misaligned the transmitter or something. We need to go out to it. You got it. You got it, girl. You do it. All you. I got everything indoors. I'm sorry, but I can't get out. Oh, no. get... No! You'll still be able no! To go. go. Rude. Go. No! Don't... Don't do it! Is there a code in there? Did I get thunked? I got thunked over the head. No, I don't want to do this. No, go back. Go back to your hut. Go, go back home to the hut. I want my hut. Oh, generator. I'm good with generators. Let's turn it on. Let's turn on the generator. Man, I have a vendetta against two at this point. <laughs> two, two's gonna get me killed. Oh, I can't open the door, it's too windy. Me, 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 me. Two, you are the worst. Whatever horrific fate is coming to all of us, I don't deserve it. I, I did my best. <laughs> Ward four, great. Two is the only one. Two's the only survivor, which is the cruelest irony of all, isn't it? Yeah. It just goes to show not doing work and letting ever ever and riding everyone else's coattails how to get ahead in life. Isn't that right? Two. Two used to be my lucky number. I think I'm gonna change it now. Now it's just, three. Just <laughs> because, now it's gonna be three. Just because of all this. Here. Woo spooky, I'm gonna spook you! I'm gonna look through the window and spook you.
upstairs. Come on. I like that all the supposed aliens are not here. Right? I mean, for having a, a pretty, what seems to be a pretty violent alien attack that's, you know, captured a lot of people in a hurry, surprising that they, one, missed, missed my little section, my little slice of heaven, <laughs> otherwise known as my shed Cabin in the three. lizard. <laughs> but, <laughs> but two, that yeah, even when I'm out here, they're like, yeah, you know, not, nowhere to be found. Ooh, chili, chili. Man, can you imagine living and working out of a place like this? Like, this is so cold. This would be terrible. Right, it would. I would, I would, I would not be able to handle this. Probably like a three-day trip to the nearest town. A three-day trip. A three-day trip. Generator. Very familiar with those. Can we just go and yank two out of our cozy little home and be like, hey, get out here and do work. I'm going back to three. <laughs> like, I'm done with this. You do something for yourself for a change. Oh, there's four. Transmission backup power system here. Go in here. Four got captured, so that, you know. Can I, can I engage in any way with the form? No? No? No engagement? Well, okay. Turn on that generator! There you go. Uh, this is a really surprising it. part of this game, though. What? I said I'm just kind of surprised. By this? Yeah. Me too. That, Walking like, around. It, right, that we're actually moving and doing stuff. So I'm following this back to the generator. There you go, friends. Generator back online. Come on, aliens, just do it. Just take me. Boom. At PBN Gats 327 tweets, I hope Matt Pat's new lucky number is somewhere between eight and eight and a half thousand. <laughs> eight and eight and a half thousand. That's great. Oh, wooga! Great. Well, we signaled that. Where's, where's the aliens? They're gonna be back in my. They're gonna be back in three, right? I can't feel my legs, James. What? She says she can't feel her legs. I'm so tired. Oh. Uh. Is this a pathogen or are they aliens? Whoa. Oh, woo gah. What are you doing, James? Please. Do you what? He's coming back. Oh, this is not bode well. <laughs> Apologies, headphone users. Jeez. <laughs> Between the Morse code and the foghorn that's going off every couple seconds, this has just been a brutal auditory episode, I gotta say. He's coming back. I hear you. We maybe, I should, maybe I shouldn't come back. <laughs> Screw you guys. Screw you guys, I'm gonna. James, everyone is waiting on you. You need to wake up. What? Weird. Wake me up before you go, go. These machines 
they are your lifeline. Follow them. Please. What? Are the little destiny ghosts gonna track me down again? Whoa, hey! Yeah, I'm not going in that. Three! My poor little three! Mr. Asian, can you hear me? Oh. Oh, this is four. Alright, well. Hello! Oh. Welcome back. Did you see the room? The room you entered was from the house of. Was the house, right? Yeah, it was the house from the original. Spooky. From the first from the first one. Yeah. Huh. Alright. That was that was a long hard one. <laughs> <laughs> Had to spend a little too much time doing every one of those things. Here's here's my question. What happened to two? That's all that matters to me. Two better be the carcass that ends up on the kitchen table in House Abandoned. <laughs> Otherwise, I will not be satisfied with the story. What time is it, Chris? It is 5.34. Shoot! I wanted to finish it today. That took so long. That took a surprisingly long time. It was such a long one. Was I just like egregiously slow? I don't think, I mean, it was a very tedious, each thing was way more tedious than it needed to be. Shoot. Do you know how long the last session is? I do not, but I shall consult the chat in 20 seconds when they begin to answer that question. Poop. Because I do need, I, I, I need to finish this script tonight. But I, I really don't. I really set out to finish this one today. I did not expect, like, especially with how fast House Abandoned was and Lab Conduct, like, the Lab Conduct or Conduct, like, that was short. They were both short. This one took a really long, like, the puzzles just took a long time. And I don't think it was me being, like, purposely dense. Yeah, I guess I could have started at 8,000 had I realized that that's what they were telling me to do. The chat is is begging you to finish, and they're saying that four is not very long. They're saying it's short. I'm seeing a few 20 minutes. All right. Let's power through it real fast. Let's do it. Woo! Okay, doing it real fast. Look around. Go to an open. Pro tips. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thank thankfully. Thank you so much for putting me through this one again. I love it. It's like each section is so like 15 20 minutes. I think that's enough of that for now. Ah! Yes. Good job, Meta. Oh, this is funny already. Okay. You're quite fond of the show, aren't you? Oh man, are we binging it? Is this all a commentary on Netflix? <laughs> We've had enough binging for today, thank you. Okay. Okay, come on. Let's get you down to the observation room. Oh, is this, so were the first three all just like my psychosis? They're all like visions I'm having? Based on the fact that like there this were number puzzles. This starting to feel like home to you. Don't worry. I'll try and get you out of here eventually. Quit. I'm just in here. Maybe they're telling me to quit the game. Okay. Are we through in the next room? Just relax, and we'll get started in a moment. Hmm. Oh man, it's like the those mini games in FNAF. Like listen to the tape recording, and when he moves, right. shock him. Now are you ready? So it's just hit record on the tape deck in front of you when you're ready. This is subject twelve nineteen eighty six twenty three, new session entry. We have myself, Doctor Alexander, right, leading, just in test. and in a room we have our patient, Mister James Asian. 
As we know, James has recently recovered from a two-week coma following his accident. In our last three sessions, James's attempts to recollect events of the accident seen him merging his memory with his imagination. Okay. These episodes have always ended in panic, and we've had to terminate the session abruptly. Let's try and do this one better, James. So when you're ready, let's bring this back. I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. James, it's time to remember. Mm. All right, let's do it. We're piecing together the mystery. It's like a conscious black box. It can show you your memories. Look into it. Should I, should I do that? Sure. All oh, those good old alien glyphs. I certainly remember those. <laughs> In your most recent episode, you recalled a false memory of a remote weather station. Oh, this is cool already. You were isolated okay. from the rest of the world, locked inside your coma. Okay, that makes we sense. We interacted with you daily, encouraging you to wake. Okay. Your family would do number puzzles with you. Anything really to bring huh. you back. People needed answers, James. Do you remember? I. It was hard for me I to have forget. I signal here for you, James. Oh no! Two. Five six one zero FM. You can't miss it. When you say that. <laughs> you would be surprised too. Don't you know? Based on how this game has gone for me. I would not put it past me. I like where this is going already though. Like piecing together the clues from the first three to like have the explanation for the whole thing. I'm excited by that. Yeah, this is 20 F. Yeah, this is cool. 12, 19, 86, 23, 04. Type in the numbers, James. Gotta see this. This is 20F. 12, 19, 86, 23, 04. 20F. Type in the numbers, James. You gotta see this. This is 20F. 12, 19, 86, 23, so this is, I'm assuming this is the date and time, right? Yeah. 12, like December 20th, 1986, because 1986 is the important date from the first one. And then I'm assuming it's 23.04 o'clock. Report. Oh, more microfiche! It's my favorite. Report. Going back. Police report. Yep. Road traffic accident. Huh. I did not expect it to be a traffic accident. That's interesting. No? Alright. Arrived on the scene to see two cars that had been involved in a head on collision. Mr. Asian found lying down outside of his vehicle with head injuries. An ambulance was immediately called. His passenger was trapped in the vehicle. In critical condition from wounds sustained in the collision. The driver of the blue sedan 
Mr. Hennings was found dead on arrival, it was noticed that there was a strong smell of whiskey from the driver and an empty whiskey bottle on the passenger seat. Mr. Asian was questioned on scene. He described an oncoming blue sedan being clearly out of control, which he swerved to avoid. Mr. Asian's passenger was his sister. The driver of the blue sedan is an ex-police officer of 20 years. Okay, 20F, so we have fatal accident. So I'm assuming I need to type in these words, 20F, fatal accident. And then the other ones were em empty whiskey. Empty whiskey and out of control. Out of control. Okay. And I think that's everything in this one? Yeah, everything else is kind of censored. So, okay, let's try that. Report. It's going to be 20F fatal accident. Is it all in caps? I know that caps is, yeah, it's all in caps. 20F space fatal accident. And then it should be empty whiskey. I'm assuming? Oh, sorry, EY. These are all in caps too. Shoot. Is this the right way to go? And then out of Great. Ha ha! Nice. Find the signal, James. Listen to the voices. Oh, two. You have to face it, James. Finally. 7000 FM. Between 8 and 8,000. It's not like it. At all. I've worked with Officer Hennings for six years and not once have we even talked about alcohol. Drunk driving. He, he was a father, a husband, he was fine. No way he caused this. It's him, this Haitian guy. He's got something to hide. Huh, now we're in the game? Oh, this is cool. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> That's Correct. Great. That is accurate. Oh. You step out into the hospital ward, but it only seems abandoned. Your vision is blurry. Quit. Help is here. Under stress, help you help keep a healthy mind. This is where I was. Can I All of your episodes were recorded to tape. This is the fourth, yep. Yeah. Yep. Can I? Sometimes they make you watch your past sessions to see what really happened. Okay, that's cool. They are all locked. That one as well. Is this plant watered? It won't tell me. This picture is the same. This is also locked. Dr. Alexander is always watching you remotely. I don't know if anyone else is ever with him. Driving home. Don't have that fifth pint. First step to recovery. Tense up, someone else is here. Hello. Fire alarm? Don't do that. Hello. Someone else is here. Is it my guilty conscience? <laughs> this would have been Mr. Henning's bed. It's cold to the touch. Is Henning's here? Who's coming to attack me? Outside of my own guilt. 
We found him lying there sobbing while his sister died in the car next to him. While Hennings died next to him. What the fuck was he thinking? She was still alive when we got to her. If he'd have done something, they could all still be hit. Huh. Okay. Hello? Are these also locked? I haven't. Oh, they're all locked. But hey, cassette tape. Today was the first session with Mr. James Asian. Although I fear it will certainly not be his last. When asked about events that have happened in the past, he confused fact and fiction and told us a story about a computer game that was talking to him. Huh. I think he was back at his own house, his mum and dad's house, and he always talked about a room with a red X. One he couldn't get in. Huh. I don't know what any of this means or what it's going to do with the accident, but I guess uh, some more sessions will maybe reveal that. We're going to try again tomorrow. <laughs> it's that damn utility closet. Eat the keys! <laughs> you grab the keys from the table. They weigh heavy in your hand. Then drop them! <laughs> That's what we learned last time. One meter. Ooh, sanitize. Uh, you wash your hands, but in this place it feels pointless. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, okay, here we go. Day room. Spent most waking moments in here. Oh man, the house abandoned. Greenland. Fly safe to Greenland. Number puzzles. The only video they have. Some horror compilation. Ah, oh, stories untold. It's trash. <laughs> wow. Harsh. You're harsh on your own kind, game. Seats for visitors. Not that you had any. Still seats for visitors. I haven't had any. Oh, hello, open door. You only caught a glimpse of the room. You guess that's why there's no detail in here. Ha <laughs> ha! That's funny. There's no detail, but... Oh, there you we go. honestly believe that Hennings was drunk at the wheel and not this little shit? If he wakes up, when he wakes up, I want answers. Until then, you handle it. You write up. I'm out. Okay. Nope. Fair enough. The waiting area is dark, but you feel a presence right behind you! Nope. <laughs> oh, hello. It's shifted for some reason. Can I? Weird. Trying to open that door shifted me in some way. I'm a changed man now. Okay, here we go. Someone breathes on your neck, standing over you. Mm, mm, cool. <laughs> <laughs> They're very good at following. Got you. Oh, nothing. <laughs> Boop. Nope. Still, still hitting back there. Nothing. 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 Well, there's your first problem. You're not even. Oh, you feel dread in the pit of your stomach. Yep. Something familiar about the about this bed, what they did to you. Go towards the light, Mr. Asian. Go towards the light. So bright. Okay, we have a 22-year-old male just brought in from a vehicle collision. He was awake and mobile at the scene, but collapsed on arrival to the emergency ward. Oh. The other passengers died in the accident. I'm getting no pulse. Prepare for defib. Amp charge full to ten and give me 100 joules. Oh, so it was my heart. Oh, here we go. Come on, 100 joules. Charge amp full to ten. Oh no. Here, let's turn on my camera and my TV so I can see what's going on with my heart. Oh, that's an eyeball. Come on. That's that's my eyeball. <laughs> amp charge to ten. Okay, here. This is the laser. 
Oh, here's the, okay. And charge to 10. That's not 10. And here's your jewels. Come on, 100 jewels. Charge 100 jewels. To 10. Oh, there we go. 100 jewels. And charge to 10. There we go. Okay. 100 jewels. Jeez, making me use my own defibrillator here, guys. Yeah, some hospital. Right, there's, okay, there's 10. There's five was midpoint before, right, wasn't it? There we go. Boom, shock me. Clear. Like, I can't do this Reaction until the patient. The stage. Let's try higher. Okay. 200 joules, keep the amp charge at 10. Great. Woo! Somewhere between two and 200. 200 joules, keep the charge at 10. Let's I'm, go. I'm working on it, two? Jeez. This guy's related to two, isn't he? There we go. Boom, shock me. Clear. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Don't drill into my heart, don't Let's you dare. Going. Increase again. 360, charge full. 360! When, when can we use the laser beam? Let's use some laser beam action. Can we use the laser beam to... Hurry. Yeah, I'm, I can only turn up the dial so fast. <laughs> Jeez, everyone, everyone just ride me in this game. Here, go. Clear. Thank you. Well, would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Yay! There's my eyeball moving. Rhythm is stable. We need to run an x-ray right away. Oh, man. Okay. Cool. Let's let's do that, then. Where are we with that x-ray? I'm, I'm working. Let's get it going now, please. I'm, yeah. God, everyone is so demanding all the time. X-ray data. Wasn't that over here? Mm -hmm. I remember right. X-ray over here. Yeah. Thought it was. Cause this is. Cause this is the this is the laser. So the X-rays. Oh, oh! I just had to turn it on. There we go. <laughs> just had to turn on the X-ray. Sorry. I'm so used to like really ridiculous things. We need to drain this now for relief pressure. Prepare for trepanation. Oh no! Here we go. Switch on the drill, please. Oh no! No! Don't drill me! Drill. Yeah, it's on. It's on, friend. There you go. Activate. Activate drill. Are we good? No? That's not it. Go. There. Oh, jeez. It's still on. Okay, great. Oh, no. You've made excellent progress. No! Don't look at your eyeball. You need to stay calm and try to relax before we go through the next step. Probably not be looking at the drill as it approaches your head. Oh no! I did not like that. Oh, that is unpleasant right there. Oh hey! Look where we're at. Yikes! Oh five, turn on the generator. Turn on the generator and go through the red X. Okay, it's on. Oh man, not only is tonight New Year's Eve, but tomorrow you leave on a six month trip abroad with some friends. Mom, dad, and your sister Jennifer have decided to throw a party to celebrate it all. The house is full. You're in the living room and as usual, you don't recognize a soul. Oh, ha. Look around. Look, progress is being made. Room is full of charity strange, chatty strangers, mostly friends of mom and dad. There's a door to the hall. Open door. See, I've learned. Sorry, go to door. I'm so, oh God, okay. Eat door. Eat door. <laughs> talk to, talk to strangers. You exchange pleasantries. Nod and smile, nod and smile. Poop on floor. <laughs> Poop <laughs> on floor. That's, sorry, don't understand. Uh, uh, look for Jennifer. Talk, okay. Talk to mom. Mom, it's mom. I, I, I'm talking to, talk to dad, New Year's Eve. Six, okay. 
go to hall. You push through the crowd into the hallway. There we go. The hallway is as welcoming as ever. Only this time, the folks have put a great big banner up across the main hall, the main wall. Half-finished drinks are abandoned on almost every horizontal surface. Stairs lead up, although the party is firmly downstairs. Look around. Same as ever, stairs, door to the living room, and door to the kitchen. Go to kitchen. They say all the best parties are in the kitchen. The kitchen is full of people and loud. There are drinks and food on the table, and the party is in full swing. Dad has, uh, what, cooled? Cooled a hog roast. Cooked. Cooked, sorry, yeah, oh, I see it. Okay, cooked a hog roast, which sits proudly on the table, although no one's eating it. Eat hog roast. <laughs> Maybe later, no! Eat it now. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Look around. There's a utility room and writing on the wall. Also, Jen is here signaling you. Okay, read writing. Happy New Year, 1986. Another banner. Wired, a place to hang it. Uh, talk to Jen. She's too far away and the room is too loud. Go to Jen. You push through, apologizing over and over to get to Jennifer. You hug, you're gonna miss each other. You thank her for the party. She asks if you are enjoying the party. Say yes. You tell her it's great, even though you don't really know anyone. She tells you to enjoy it anyway and to loosen up. She asks you to get a drink, okay? Cool. Go to utility closet. She speaks up over the din, asking you to get her a drink. I, yeah. Fine, I will go get drink. You pour Jen a drink, and one for yourself, too. There's never an awkward silence with Jennifer. She always has a question. She asks if you have everything sorted for the big trip. Say no. You tell her no. That, as usual, everything is last minute. Another hug. Your family have really gone out of their way to make this happen for you. Make this trip happen for you. It might be what you need to get some perspective and maybe not F up so much. She's gonna miss you, you're gonna miss her. She walks away. Jen has disappeared into the crowd. You're left standing, nodding and smiling at the approving faces. There's so much to do for this move. Can't mess it up, but first a drink. Oh no, stop drinking. You pour and... You pour and down another drink. That is the antithesis of what I wrote, but that's cool. Anything to move the night along. Go to utility closet. You open the door and peer in. Hey, what's inside? You're never allowed in here normally. This is where dad keeps his fine wines and whiskeys. Ceiling to floor racks. A collector, although he does actually drink them too. There's a bottle with a ribbon around it and a card. Read card. You pick up the whiskey and the card. It's your dad's handwriting. Son, we're so proud of you and everything you've achieved. You've earned this. It's a bottle of 25 year old double malt, double malt. You shouldn't really, but you have to try it. Don't try it, no. With your whiskey in hand, you take in the room around you. There must be hundreds, no thousands of pounds worth of drinks in here. You really must thank your dad for the whiskey. There are racks of fine wines and the door to the kitchen. Go to kitchen. You head back into the kitchen, clutching your new best friend. Aw, it's good to find a friend. <laughs> <laughs> you stumble out of the utility room. Back into the kitchen. That is one strong whiskey. You take another swig and give it a thumbs up. Give, up, give the thumbs up to dad across the room. He nods and winks. Go to dad. I'm sorry. I go. Look look around I guess busy and noisy we'll need to find somewhere quieter I just want to give dad a hug I wanted to give dad a hug go to hallway you go back out to the hallway a few bumps and laughs on the way through and you make it to the hall you stop dead in your tracks it's Jen covered in blood hug hug, hug Jen <laughs> she's staring straight at you no one else notices 
hug Jen again. <laughs> Blood is dripping down her face. It's mixing with tears. Hug Jen again. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't understand. Oh, you typed in Ken. Oh. oh. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Huh. Sorry, I don't understand. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> Run away. Go to living room. Oh, no. Oh, God, that's really creepy. <laughs> oh, that's really good. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, apologize to Jen. Sorry, I don't understand. We tried our best, Mrs. Asian, but her injuries were too severe. No, I don't understand. I was just talking to her. I'm afraid Jennifer passed away before we could get to her in surgery. We did the best we could. I am so sorry. Where is she? Let me see her. Please, Mrs. Asian, take a seat. I don't want to take a seat. Let me talk to her. Now. I'll arrange for you to see her. In the meantime, James is in recovery. He's stable for now. I don't want to see him. So, don't don't blame me on that one. You're standing in the hallway. Something has stopped you in your tracks. While searching your mind, while searching your mind, your sister interrupts. She waves her hand in front of you and asks if you can drive her home. You still feel out of sorts. Those words echo. Say no. <laughs> Sorry, I don't understand. Look around. <laughs> Doors to the kitchen and living room. Lead from here. Go to living room. Avoid Jen. You're sure your keys are in the... No, I didn't want... No, I didn't want to go to the living room. <laughs> I mean, I did. I didn't want to get keys there. The living room has a much more relaxed atmosphere compared to the kitchen. Various guests are sat up on chairs having civilized conversations. There's a coffee table in the middle of the room. Your mom is pouring a drink at the drinks cabinet. Hug mom. Mom. Sorry, I don't understand. Okay. Uh, I don't. If I go to her, I'm going to drink her drink or something, aren't I? Go to hallway. Empty handed. You head back out into the hall. There we go. I'm already inebriated though so it doesn't matter you're standing back in the hallway bottle of whiskey in hand but no car keys jen points to the living room and sighs as she puts on her coat go upstairs you'd love to call it a night but jen is waiting patiently tell jen no Oof. get her an uber <laughs> go to sleep all right i have to go through it i guess Go, I'm gonna try one more time. Go upstairs. Yeah, okay. Jen is waiting patiently. Uh, talk to Jen. Yeah, yeah, we can talk in the car. Go get your keys. Say no. No! I can't, I don't think there's a way out of this. Go to the living room. You sure your keys, okay. There's a coffee table in the middle of the room. Your mom is pouring a drink. Okay, talk to mom. Tears immediately start to appear in her eyes. My son off to America. She gives you a hug. Hug mom. Sorry. Say goodbye to mom. Okay. Off to America. She gives you a hug. Hug back. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Look four keys. You need to look for them. Yep. They must be either in the kitchen or in the... I know. Look around. Coffee table, a drinks cabinet. One of the chairs is overflowing with jackets and coats. Uh, look at chair. Friends in conversation. Jackets and coats everywhere. Okay. Look at table. Drinks on coasters like proper civilized people. You can't see your keys. Look in drinks cabinet, right? Your mom's collection of wines and spirits. Definitely no keys in here. 
so they said that he, uh, he felt like they were there. Ask mom for keys? It must be in the chair, right? I would think. Look at chair. Friends in conversation, jackets and coats everywhere. Look in coats. You search through all the jackets and coats until you find yours. Ha ha, car keys in the pocket. You grab both, okay. Go to hallway. Keys in hand, you head back into the hall. Jen thanks you for helping her out. She has work in the morning and no one else is in any fit state to drive. You can handle it though. You know the road like the back of your hand, don't you? I don't. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Don't drive. Sorry, I don't know, fine. Go outside. You open the front door and wait into, and walk into the freezing night. The cold air hits you. You're glad you have your jacket with you. There's a dusting of snow around you as you step down from the porch. The yard extends around the back of the house and the car sits at the front of the house. Go to, I'm just curious, what happens if I go to the backyard? She sighs and comically taps her feet. Apart from the little light escaping the, from the party indoors, the yard is pitch black. You, use, you used to love stargazing here. You stumble around the darkness, looting for the perfect, looking for the perfect spot to take in the majesty of the night, of the night sky. Trusty old generator is here working away. The sky is majestic. Turn off generator. Well, that would be a hilarious prank. You think better of plunging the house into darkness. Shoot! Look at sky. You gaze up at the night sky. For some reason, you don't recognize any of the star patterns tonight. She has fond memories here too. It won't be the same without you here. Jennifer looks relieved as you head back around to the front of the house. Uh, I'm so sad. <laughs> this is rough. This is rough. Go to car. You fumble with the car handle, confused, until Jen tells you to maybe use the key in your hand. Give keys to Jen. Uh, tell Jen to drive. Okay, fine, use key. Fumbling with the car keys, you eventually get the door open and clink it, climb inside. The car's freezing. As you fumble around with your seatbelt, your sister opens up the car glove box and hands you a note and a, and a key that was inside. She tells you that it's for when you return. Can I read the note anyway? The note is from your dad and reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room, enjoy. So that's the computer game. It's time to go. The car is freezing. Both you and Jen have your seatbelts on and are ready to go. It's time to go. Turn on heat. <laughs> Use key. It takes a number of attempts, but you eventually slot the key into the ignition. Drive. The car doesn't move, given that the engine isn't actually on. Oh, it's like you've never turned. Oh my god. Turn key. Fine. You turn the key in the ignition, and the car roars to life. Drive carefully. <laughs> the car squeals, but stays stationary. Jen suggests releasing the brake, giving you a wide-eyed stare. Ask Jen to drive. I'm going to keep trying. Car squeals but stays stationary. Jen suggests, yeah, I could find. Release the brake. I don't know what you're trying to use. The brake. Use brake. Fine. Unpark car. Steering wheel, handbrake, ignition. Use handbrake. Oh, sorry, I'm spelling wrong. You very hesitantly release the handbrake. 
drive car. You put the car into gear and pull out of the driveway like a first time driver. You really shouldn't be driving. You, I am driving very drunk on the road towards the town where your sister stays. Jen starts dozing off as soon as the journey got going. This shouldn't take long. Come to a junction. Is it left or right? You can't remember. The road goes off to the left and to the right. You can't remember which way to go. The roads are quiet, always. Right turns are safer. You don't want to, but you had better ask Jen for directions. Oh, okay. She grunts and throws her arm to the left. It's left, of course, it's left. Don't take a left turn. Look both ways. There's no time for that right now, huh? There you go. Turn left. You turn the car left at the junction and accelerate off. Confident that you're on the right road now, you loosen up, put your foot down on the accelerator. You feel powerful as the engine roars at your command. Jen sits up in her chair and clutches your arm. She asks you to slow down. That's not what really happened though. Ha! <laughs> slow down, that's not what really happened. James, pull over. Jen is hitting your arm and yelling at you, crazy sister. Strange, there's a set of headlights coming directly at you, but really slow, like slow motion. You try to react, with, it, but your body isn't responding. There's nothing you can do to stop this. There's no way to control it. The lights merge with your car. James, for fuck's sake, pull over! The outside joins the inside. The whole world around you begins to scream. Wasn't it, James? The moment you lost it all. Your sister. Your parents. Yourself. And then you made it worse. Go on. Show us what you did. You wake up in the car. Your world is upside down. Your seatbelt struggles against gravity trying to hold you in your seat. An impact into another car has torn a hole in the chassis. Poisonous fumes, huh, spill into your car from the engine. You are in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Car is broken beyond repair. The windows are smashed. There's wreckage all around. You're both wearing your seatbelt. You release yourself from the seat. Gravity takes over as you stump on the stomp. Shoot. Slump. Slow, yeah, slump on the onto the roof of the car. Here, <laughs> just gonna, gonna play up here. Don't mind me. <laughs> It's getting, oh, you're gonna be low. There you go. Okay, as you slump onto the roof of the car. Okay. You've already taken off your seatbelt. It saved your life. Uh, I know. I'm trying to save Jen. I can't. I'm sorry. I don't understand. Yeah, they're not gonna let me. Crash site. Snow pillows from the crack heart. The sky above here is leaning off. Approaching at a distance, holding your whiskey, drink. Drink whiskey. Come on, James. If you drink this now, it's gonna you're gonna get what's coming to you. What do I need to do? Blue car smashed. 
Hide whiskey. Oh, that's a good one. Hide whiskey. Well, that's not a smart thing, James, is it? They'll eventually find it there and they'll link it to you. Oh. Go to blue car. The door is jammed. You don't have time for messing around like this, James. What car? The op so I said op open door. What car? The other blue car or yours? Blue car. Open blue car door. What car? The other blue car or yours? Other blue car, right? Sorry, I don't know. What car? Open door. What car? Open my door. What car? The other blue car or yours? Yours? Mine? Open my door. What car? The other blue car or yours? See, I, I, I need to open... Hey, I, yeah, I know. I'm opening the other blue car. Right? Open blue car door. What car? The other blue car? Yeah. I... Go to blue car. The door is jammed. You don't need have time for messing around. I know. Sure. What? I'm confused. Crash site. Some billows. Blinking and fumes are fusing. Okay, 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 here we go. The hazard lights are blinking and fumes are rising from the engine. Through the smashed windows, you can see the motionless driver. Poor whiskey on driver. With the lights approaching closer, you begin to hear the trill of the sirens, or thrill of the sirens. Shrill sirens. You simply cannot go to jail for this. You clean the bottle to remove your connection with the whiskey. You then very deliberately spit the remainder of the bottle's contents, spill the remainder of the bottle's contents onto the driver, and you toss the incriminating evidence onto the passenger seat. Oof. A circle of flashing lights surrounds you, illuminating the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks over to you. The red and blue flashing lights are causing the pain in your head to be all the more severe. You try to talk, but you're not making any sense. So, cry. Sorry, you're not talking any sense. You're not talking any sense. talking any sense. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Go to silhouette. There we go. As you approach the man, as you approach the man, the pulsating light... I know you, you. I know you're tearing yourself apart over it. No matter what you keep telling yourself, you have to listen to me. That accident, that poor man, me. You have to remember. Seems like it I was all your fault. I know what you did. How you left me there to protect yourself. Planting evidence on some poor man. You went headfirst into that office and you wrecked all of our lives. And we couldn't even take responsibility. You did the right thing for you and no one else. Save yourself. Only it was wrong, wasn't it? Look at me now. Utterly consumed by it. Say it, James. 
this is this accepting my fate and this is rejecting it. Tell them. Listen to yourself. It has to end, James. Do you not understand? This episode you're having must come to an end. Make it stop, make it stop. Do you remember? I will confess. Stop the session, Mr. Asian. Okay. Sometimes they make you watch past sessions to see what happens, yeah? Go back to where we started. Back to where we started. Put an end to this nightmare. I mean, isn't this it? This is where everything started. You no? can do this, James. You can let go. I'm, I'm ready. I don't know what was different that time. Well. I think we've made progress today, Mr. Haitian. I guess we should tell the police what you've told us. Although I don't suspect they'll take you anywhere. I think you'll be with us for quite some time. Come on, let's get you back to your shows. I'll see you tomorrow. There you go. Huh. Here, I'm waiting to the end credits to see what happens. If there's anything. Or is this just like the, the end the end? Might be just the end the end. I was like, oh, maybe, maybe there'll be like another chapter that opens up or some like Easter egg or something. But maybe not. That huh. was... That was dark. Right? It got really dark there. I like... I like what they did. I think this is really good. I think... I think the, the reveal at the end is really, really good. I love the way that they make you rethink everything that you went through in the first three chapters and kind of revisit it in kind of a new context. I think that's really smart. And the way they kind of like force you through the decisions that you don't want to take. It's a good usage of gameplay to tell a story, right? And it, it, it's funny because it also plays into kind of the frustration I was having yesterday playing the first chapter where it's like, why can't I do more? And it's because you can't. You know, that's the whole point, is your decisions are already locked. Like, for me to go in and be like, oh, I'm just playing a game, and be surprised by the limited options available, that makes sense. You know, like, oh, well, why isn't this, like, a fully robust game or whatever? But now, in retrospect, it makes a lot more sense, because now it's like, oh, because all those decisions were already made for you. So you're not really exploring a house like I thought I was, you're actually reliving these events and your choices are already made. It's interesting. It's the, him framing the other driver, I think, I could take or leave. Like, I think that almost overcomplicates it. It's already pretty clear that he's in the wrong and that he's trying to hide stuff and this and that. Like, I think you didn't necessarily need that twist for it to still be like super powerful. 
But uh, I think it helped. It helped give it a finality because you have Jen pushing him to drive despite drinking no matter what. And I mean, I know we tell like, I just feel like there would be more room as the player to give him slack if you wanted to, but this way there's no way like- No, I mean, well, wrong. yeah, that takes, I mean, that action definitely takes away any sort of like any sort of yeah uh, of there's no gray area yeah there's no gray like he is very clearly wrong there like to to frame someone else but yeah i mean even before that like he has so many options or so many chances to say no and stuff like th to me it's already done the second he like hops in the car it's like i'm you know when the screen turns red it's like you've already screwed up um hmm it's really good. That was really good. I also like the idea of play. It, it was smartly done because it plays off of this kind of expectation of Stranger Things and of alien possession and this idea of, you know, what everything Stranger Things has, uh, alternate reality, the upside down, it's like an alien creature, this and that. And so everything in those first three chapters are kind of pointing you in that direction in some way of like, oh, it's going to be this weird alien creature that's taking over only to have the like rug pulled out from under you. I think that's a smart use of the genre and of the time period and kind of like the pop culture reference that this game is riffing on to catch you off guard and surprise you, um, to tell you a story that you weren't expecting. Because I was expecting the last one to be like the alien story that ties it all together, but it's not. And I think, you know everything about the artistic decision, all the artistic decisions that this game had made were leading me in the direction of, oh, it's going to be just like Stranger Things, and then it's not. And I think that's, I think that's really good. This was cool. It was cool. Very, very, very cool. I've also learned a couple things about myself and my gameplay style. <laughs> I'm very thorough in my gameplay style. <laughs> Looking at every number between eight and 8,500, you know. You do, but uh, it's great. Good job, Devolver Digital, man. They're, I, I haven't played many of their games in the past, but between Messenger, which I mentioned yesterday, I played off stream, stream just for myself, and this, this is another one of their games, A+. Plus. Like, they're, they're coming out with some good stuff. Uh, we're gonna pay more attention to them moving forward. But um, there you go. I think that's, I, we're already kind of way over time. I have a script to do. Stephanie's waiting for me um, at this point, so I should get going. But thank you for joining us. Uh, I'll be curious to read your comments on this video after the fact. Tell me what you thought about it. Tell me your feelings about it. How guilty was James before and after he framed the other guy? Uh, I'd be curious to get your thoughts. Um, and there you go. That's, that's it. We'll be back tomorrow. And I think we'll be back. I, I think Stephanie might be joining us tomorrow too. Uh, either tomorrow or Friday. But we'll be back tomorrow for something very different. Uh, but hopefully equally interesting and cool. So thank you for, you know, suffering through the last two days with me as I kind of like slowly ground my way through some pretty strenuous puzzles there. Um, thank you for your patience. We'll see you tomorrow, 4 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. And remember, that is just a stream. A live stream. Chris, say goodbye in the chat. Okay, Sketchy Sky says bye. Jason Cruz says play What Remains of Edith Finch. Vitter says That's a good bye. Idea. We have so many buys. Oh, and Alley Cat says Chris, I love you. Oh, Alley Cat, that's so sweet. Chris oh, likes that. Too. Chris appreciates you.